Welcome to Stump the Scientist. We're here with Jim Bray, our Stump the Scientist. So Jim, today Justin, our Facebook friend, would like to know, why do atoms explode when you split them? Okay, well we'll give that a shot. Justin, not all atoms do explode when you split them, but we'll go into which ones do. First of all, physicists call the splitting of atoms fission. So that's the name that physicists use, fission. And it's just the center part of the atom, the heavy center, which is called the nucleus, that splits. And so we're talking about fissioning the nucleus of atoms. Now, it turns out this only occurs for an explosion or giving off energy for heavy atoms. And examples of these heavy atoms are uranium and plutonium, and we call these fissile materials. Now, by explosion or exploding, we mean that when the atom fissions or splits, it gives off a lot of energy. So what's happening is that the atom's nucleus, which consists of a lot of particles, splits in two. Now, normally when that happens, of course, if I were to weigh the particles in this nucleus and this nucleus, and add it together, I would get the same weight as when I started, because I've just divided it in two. But it turns out that when I fission a heavy nucleus, and I add the mass, the weight, of the two parts that I produce by fissioning that heavy nucleus, it turns out that the mass of this one plus this one is less than what I started with. And so I have missing matter, or missing mass. That missing matter is turned into energy, and that's the explosion. It's turned into energy according to a famous equation, E equals mc squared. Famous equation due to Einstein, which says that the energy produced by the missing matter, E, is equal to the missing matter amount, the missing mass, times the speed of light squared. And this is a very big number, so we get a lot of energy from that missing mass. So that's where the explosion comes from when we fission a heavy nucleus. Now it turns out that the reason that happens is that the two smaller nuclei are more stable than the big nucleus. And so when you add their masses together, we get less matter than what we started with, and the rest is converted into energy. If we try to split or fission a lighter atom, it turns out that we don't get this effect. And so there is no explosion. So that's your answer, Justin. Yes, we get explosion for fissioning heavy atoms like uranium or plutonium, but not for the lighter atoms.